with our stories and questions to our guests, like our connector of the day. Each day, we put you in touch with someone making a difference. And tonight, it's the American soap star, Crystal Chappelle. Now, hundreds, literally hundreds of you have been uh, writing in with questions for her, so stay with us. It's your show. Stay involved through the website, cnn.com. Well, you never saw our connector of the day do this on television. But she is about to do it online. We get actress Crystal Chappelle to explain when we speak to her live in just a few minutes' time. First, though, it was the longest-running scripted programme in the history of TV. It's been around for so long, in fact, it started on radio. Well, now, after seven decades and more than 15,000 episodes, the American soap opera Guiding Light has been cancelled. But one of its stars is now embracing the internet and social media to keep the spirit of her character alive. From television to the web, for nearly two decades, Crystal Chappelle's face has been familiar to daytime television fans. Now she's turning her talent and energies to a web production, the soon-to-be-launched Venice. She says the inspiration for Venice was the overwhelming global support for the same-sex love story that she portrayed with Jessica Lucia, her co-star on the daytime soap Guiding Light. Fans around the world created music videos, blogs and podcasts devoted to the couple known as Otalia for their character names on Guiding Light, Olivia and Natalia. The CBS network has cancelled Guiding Light. The last show airs in the US at the end of the week. So Chappelle decided to create a web series for an audience she says is underserved and whose stories she wants to tell. Chappelle has mobilised fan support for Venice using social media such as Twitter and Facebook. Between them, Chappelle, co-creator and writer Kim Teresi and director Hope Royalty have well over 10,000 Twitter followers. They've been generating anticipation amongst fans for months, providing teaser-like clues to plot and casting announcements. Our strategy is to be as interactive with the fans as possible. Um, again, with the advent of Twitter and Facebook, uh, this is possible. and We've chosen to engage directly with them. Chappelle and Teresi are also promising something the Atalia characters never shared on Guiding Light, an on-camera romantic kiss. How soon will we see a real kiss on screen for Venice? Well, you know, I would say it's, you're going to have to just be patient. you got to wait at least 30 seconds. Venice, which will be shot in Venice Beach, California, will be subtitled and streamed in many languages for international viewers. Talent to die for, making Crystal Chappelle our connector of the day. And Crystal Chappelle joins me now from L.A., where she is shooting this new web series, Venice, and we... Uh, we welcome you to the show. I've got to say, you actually crashed our website earlier on today when we were taking comments and questions from our viewers, and I'm going to come to those shortly. Uh, but inundated tonight. I hope You've that's said, okay. Well, we, we, it was fine. It was absolutely fine. You've said the inspiration <laughs> for Venice is the, uh, the overwhelming support you received for the same-sex uh, love story you portrayed in Guiding Light. Why is it so important to you to tell that story? When I started the Otalia story, um, almost immediately thousands and thousands of emails came to me from women all over the world telling me their stories, being very, very grateful to be represented. And when the show was canceled, I realized that there's a need for a, a story like this, and certainly we wanted to do it in a place where we had the freedom to tell the kind of story we wanted to tell, so we decided to take it to the web. All right, and we're going to talk about that shortly. While you're moving forward, uh, how disappointed are you that, that Guiding Light has come to a close? Well, I think internationally people will be amazed to hear just how long it's been going on. It's... Uh, it's it's a beautiful show with a, a beautiful group of people. It's touched many people's lives on you know, the 72 years it's been alive. And mm. uh, it's, it's the saddest thing to see it go this week. It really, really breaks my heart. All right. I know you're moving on to other things as well as Venice. And I by no means wanted to suggest that you've been in the show for 72 years. Obviously, our viewers would understand that. Let's move on to some of the... I look pretty good for Yeah, my you age. do. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's move on to some of the... Uh, well done. Uh, the, uh, the questions that we've had, uh, as I say, the response has uh, exceeded for, uh, anything that we've had to date. Um, Dahlia asks, do you see the web as being the most important vehicle for dramatic storytelling going forward? I think it's definitely our future, given the costs of 
productions these days. You're going to see fewer and fewer new content on, on television. And certainly on the web, we can do things rather inexpensively and, and quickly. So, yeah, I do feel very much that's where we're going to see a lot of our new shows. Yeah, all right. Raz from Sydney wants to know whether, whether Venice, as the show is called, will remain exclusively on the web or whether it's being used as a, a tool possibly to entice cable networks. I, it's a good question. It is a good question. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. We're, we're still in the process of trying to get the show shot, which we're going to do at the end of October. But um, I'm happy to keep it on the web. It, there's a lot of freedom in that, and it reaches um, everyone. Everyone has access to it. It's immediate. So uh, I'm not necessarily using it as a calling card, no. Uh, while we're at that, uh, one from me. Um, your friends I know, uh, Crystal, are all working for free on Venice. Shades of sort of old Hollywood movies uh, updated for the 21st century, as it were, sort of things being done in the back garage or the, uh, behind the back door, as it were. How do you plan to make money out of this? Well, we're looking at different models, different formats. Uh, subscription is certainly a possibility. Um, we're looking into sponsorship this week. Um, you know, in terms of uh, just getting our production costs covered, which is minimal at this point, quite frankly. Um, you know, we are launching a store next week, which mm. could very well cover all production costs and allow us to actually pay the actors a little something. Jessica asked whether there'll be an interactive element uh, to this online um, series. I hope she was, I I'm guessing she's being clean when, when, when she's talking about that. Please answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was it? It was, will there be an interactive element to this online series? It is a serious question. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, well, you never know. This is a really fun group of people. Uh, it, yes. I mean, the whole idea of it from the beginning was to keep it interactive. I mean, the, the emails that I got back, um, we, we hooked up on Twitter and we got everyone on board. And, and we have this great social interaction. Um, we've done logo contests, music. Uh, the videos that you've seen, these are all really talented people. So we're watching them as much as they're watching us. And I don't see that changing. We want it to be everybody's show. Tina, um, uh, writing into us today, and I love this question. How do you keep up with everything, Crystal? Mother, wife, actress on two shows, uh, Venice, and you can explain to our viewers what else you're doing, uh, producer, writer, and all the time you give your fans. Any suggestions, she says, to help this overwhelmed mother, wife, with a full-time job? <laughs> well, I have no idea where I am right now, so I don't know how, how good a thing it is to be so busy. Um, I, you know, I, I, the, the thing that's driving me, quite frankly, is um, that I really love what I'm doing and I believe what I'm doing. And I think when you have something you feel really passionate about, you obviously find the energy. Um, mm. I'm also starting Days of Our Lives, which is another U.S. soap here, and it's, um, it's been crazy, yeah. but it's good. Yeah. She can do it. <laughs> All right, well, Tina, uh, there's the answer for you. There's the answer for you. Let us know, uh, let us into any little secrets on, on, on Plotline that we might expect briefly from Venice. Um, there's, uh, breakups, there's connections. Um, you're definitely going to see physical intimacy between two women. Um, and uh, there's a tragic thing that happens at the end to one of our very loved characters. It sounds so, like the plot of a soap opera. fabulously successful soap opera. Crystal Chappelle, we thank you so much for joining us as our connector of the day. Thank you. And as you can see, we always thank you use very your much.